Each year, the University of Central Missouri hosts a volunteer fair to showcase to students the different opportunities available in the Warrensburg community to get involved in. Today, um, the university is hosting a volunteer fair. It's just a fair that's open to anybody at the university to um, come and talk to vendors in town or in the area about volunteering. There's a ton of different organizations in Warrensburg and the surrounding areas that come out and they're just looking for students uh, to kind of give them a way to give back and help out. I've been here for four years and I never actually stopped and talked to anyone, but if you want to get information and you want to be brief about it, just go up to the booth, tell them your name, tell them that you're interested in volunteering, grab a brochure and ask them how you can contact them. They will give you the information to contact them. Give them a call, drop them an email, and they will get back to you if they are in need of volunteers. Student activities invites a multitude of diverse groups to spark the different interest areas students may have. I just went to a few booths. I haven't been to them all, but I did go to um, a booth that's called Survivor. Um, it's about domestic violence and substance abuse, and they take in men, women, and children, and they provide services like resume help, like they help find jobs, they do counseling, therapy, and like just all this great stuff for people in town. Hey, I visited the Warrensburg Animal Shelter booth and I got to volunteer with them a little bit last year and help them out, uh, but it's cool to check in and see how they're doing and they definitely need volunteers just because a lot of people want to just walk the dogs and play with them, which is fun and they definitely need it, but they also need cleaning, especially in the winter because it gets cold, so the dogs no longer have an indoor-outdoor kennel, it's mainly their indoor kennel and those get dirty quickly. So you need about five hours of just cleaning. So you do cat litter, maybe dog cages. And then once you get those five hours, you can play with them, clean, and do really anything else they need. I had the pleasure of sitting down with Stormy Taylor, Executive Director of Big Brothers Big Sisters, to talk about her organization's mission. Big Brothers Big Sisters is a nonprofit organization. Um, we've been here in this community for 20 years. We're celebrating 20 years in April, which is kind of exciting for us. Um, we work to match up children who are primarily from single parent families with um, volunteers that we have screened um, that are primarily looking to just build a friendship. And so kind of what they do is what normal everyday volunteers, or not volunteers, but friends do. Um, you know, maybe it's go to the park, um, play outside. Maybe they're just gonna watch a movie together, cook cookies, whatever it is that you like to do. And so um, through that friendship, what we hope will happen is that they will have an improved self-esteem. They will maybe want to go to school. Um, our goal is that they're gonna graduate from high school, um, become some kind of productive citizen. And uh, you know, we're starting to see that we have actually some of our littles come back and um, be involved in the program. So um, one of the things that we look for and ask for is you know consistency, being consistent in that child's life. Um, so as a volunteer, we'll ask for you to see the child once a week for an average of two to four hours. And so um, we ask for you to go to, the, to their home, pick them up, and then take them to do something. And so you have to make that commitment. Overall, students and professionals alike agree that volunteering has some great benefits. Animal Shelter definitely teaches me responsibility and like a thoroughness when cleaning the cages because I kind of look at it, if these were my animals, like I wouldn't want to miss like one spot because especially they're living in such a confined space um, and so it's just rewarding and especially getting to see the cats you know you'll clean their litter boxes you'll put them in and it just feels good to be able to see just like the atmosphere that they're living in kind of almost liven up and it sounds cliche it sounds weird but they're happier when they're in a cleaner environment and I'm happy helping and you also get to meet cool people through it. Um, a few of us went out one day, uh, I had some residents come with me, and we got to just all clean and help, and it's a fun time. Very awesome. Ah. Volunteers are kind of funny because most of them get into the program thinking they're really doing it to help a child. Um, but what I've found over the years is that most volunteers, their lives are forever changed by the child that they're matched with. Um, they are kind of, you know, they're surprised at how much that child makes an impact on them. They spend a lot of time with them. They become very involved in their life. They're emotionally bonded to them. Um, you know, they're proud of them when they do well. You know, they're, they're hurt when they don't. And so they, they make an, an emotional investment in that child. Um, and so many of our volunteers, you know, they tell me when they end the match, that child has blessed me more than I ever thought that it would. I thought I was doing this, you know, maybe as a great thing to write on my resume or as a great experience. You know, I'm going into nursing, this is a great experience for me. But many volunteers say, I had no idea that I was really going to form a bond with this child. Reporting for Lowdown, I'm Ron Janae Hill.